Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. This is the Spirit Fund. We're taking a look at the general energies for November 2020. As I've just mentioned, it's a general reading, guys. It cannot resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate, please have a look at your sun, moon, and rising sign readings here on the channel. If none of those resonate, just keep searching on YouTube. I promise you'll find the right reading for your current circumstances. But for the Scorpios who this reading is for, let's get started. All right, Scorpio. Whew, it's Scorpio season. And yeah, of course, you're going to show up in your own reading and you're going to show up strong. This is quite a powerful reading and it's for a very specific group of Scorpio who have been dealing with a lot lately. Um, I have a feeling that this is a relationship reading or it has to do with relationship, but because the Four of Pentacles is directly underneath the Three of Swords, which is a love card, um, the Four of Pentacles is a money card. So this could also go in a financial direction, this reading. So just place this energy where you see fit, okay? I'm seeing that you've walked away from something. Something that might have been long standing, so a relationship that you've been in for a while, or a partnership that you've been in, a friendship, something that mattered to you and you cared for quite a lot maybe even a job a passion project something that mattered to you quite a bit um, that you have decided to walk away from i'm not sure why you walked away from this um this energy or this entity or this person i'm not sure if it just wasn't fulfilling you anymore or if it was truly hurting you but something about this was just not healthy. It wasn't serving you. It was hurting you. Even though maybe at some time, at some point, it looked like it might have been a wish fulfillment. It looked like something that could have brought stability into your life. I have a feeling when this thing, when you first found this person or you first started this job, you were excited, you thought this would be a long-standing relationship, but something happened. I don't know if it happened abruptly or you've, if you've been planning on leaving for a while, but that process of leaving has happened. You've packed your bags, you've gathered all of the knowledge that you have, all of the lessons that you've learned, all of the information, whatever it is, You've gathered it all and you're, you're done. You're on your way to smoother waters. You might not even know where your destination is, but you know that it's time to go. You're trusting in yourself. You're trusting in the universe. You're letting this go. And I feel like, I feel like you've already let it go. You're in the process of being gone, you know? Maybe there are a few of you who are thinking about leaving and maybe November is the month that you leave. But I don't know why I feel so strongly that you've already left. Because this was something that mattered at some point, something that you felt was a wish fulfillment and could stand the test of time. The fact that it didn't work out that way, it hurt, you know? From a work perspective, I feel like this might have been a passion project. I feel like I also might be speaking to two groups of you guys. So just remember that, okay? I'm going to be jumping in between love and finance here. There's a group of you who were part of a passion project, maybe a business that you were starting or something that you've always wanted to be a part of. And yeah, you thought it would be around for a while. The fact that that didn't happen, it broke your heart. It left you feeling a little disillusioned by whatever the industry is that you're in. For another group of you, you've been in this long-standing relationship. This is the Four of Wands, which is also a card of marriage. 
so this card coming out with the three of swords oh as a reader i can only see it as a possible divorce i apologize if that is the case a possible divorce or um a breakup of a long-standing relationship possibly even four years since this is the four of wands since the three of swords is coming out in reverse this and we have the six of swords this is these are the types of energies that are making me think that this is old energy. This is not a new breakup. You haven't just lost this job. This is something that possibly happened a couple of weeks ago, if not months. You've been grieving this relationship. You've been grieving the loss. But now you're almost at that state where you're healing. And it's not as painful as it once was. You've learned the lessons and therefore the Three of Swords is coming in reverse. Whatever it is that was taken from you, these two cards to me is the universe confirming that it's the universe that took this from you, if that makes any sense. Whatever this energy was, was not meant for you. It was toxic. And you might not have seen it or maybe you did see it clearly and you just didn't want to accept it. Maybe you weren't brave enough to leave, which is okay. The devil card is here, which as you can see has this chain which binds. Usually when the devil are, is around, it indicates a situation or a circumstance that you can see is toxic, but it's still really hard to leave. So I feel like you could tell for a very long time that this three of swords energy was on its way you could tell for a very long time that this relationship or this partnership was not healthy for you it wasn't serving you maybe this person was cheating on you maybe they were abusive maybe they were just cold and distant and you were giving this relationship your all for the other group possibly you were giving this job your all working overtime slaving away and your boss wasn't appreciating you and they fired you or you just had to quit there was something about this connection that was toxic but you was you weren't leaving you weren't leaving fast enough and that is why i feel like the universe had to intervene and this tower moment happened and the universe forced this toxic energy out it forced you into this three of swords so you could heal and leave this phase of your life behind i hope that that makes sense there was something that was very toxic in your life that you've currently walked away from you are in the process of leaving it but it wasn't an easy decision and there's something in my soul that makes me feel like you didn't even make this decision yourself. The universe made this decision for you. You didn't quit. You were fired. You didn't break up with them. They broke up with you. But with hindsight, you can see that this is something that had to happen. This person, the situation was toxic. And that is why I say... This three of swords energy is around you in reverse. You're at that space now where you're starting to see things a little bit clearly. The clouds that surround the three of swords are starting to dissipate. And you're starting to, can you see the clouds in the background? They're not as prevalent as they are in the three of swords. This is you now stepping a little bit more into your power. This is you now analyzing these three swords and picking the one that works for you. So what I mean by that is that you've learned your lessons and now you've taken the one that you can take forth and grow with. You're in a state and in a stance of power currently. After this tower moment, after this toxicity, after this energy was pulled away from you, very abruptly, I might say, literally your foundation has been shook. But 
You're a strong individual. And through all of that pain and confusion, you're a Scorpio. Scorpios don't give up. They might be feeling a little bit of turmoil internally, but they never let anyone see it externally, you know? And I feel like you're stepping into that energy. You're back into your Scorpio energy, King of Swords, releasing what doesn't serve you, picking only what does serve you, setting strong intentions for yourself and knowing that you will, you will achieve them. You can tell that you don't need this toxic energy. And I have a feeling that you're also in a little bit of gratitude to the universe. You're aware you're in a very spiritual and connected um, energy and in a very intellectual energy all at the same time. You're very connected intellectually, I think is what I'm trying to say, to the universe. You are aware why this thing was taken from you. You have complete clarity that this was toxic and you stayed too long. You know you stayed too long. You've learned that lesson. You'll never make that mistake again. You're taking this lesson and you're moving forward. I think that's awesome, Scorpio. Stay in your king of swords. Stay clear with your intentions. Stay clear with your thoughts. Stay clear with yourself. Never allow yourself to fall back into these traps. Because Scorpios, yes, you're hopeless romantics. And you can be a little bit of daydreamers, you know, slightly gullible, if I can say that. And I say that with love and light. Because you guys always expect the best from people. Because you guys give the best. But some people are toxic. Some people are just narcissistic. Some are sociopathic. And they will take advantage of you if they if they must, okay? And I think that's what this reading is trying to tell you is the universe took whatever it is that was toxic from you for a reason and it's proud of you for letting that happen and for learning the lesson. Now the universe wants you to hold this lesson dear and move forward with confidence. You are on the verge of something beautiful and as you moved away from whatever this toxic energy was and you stepped into your king of swords energy, you started setting good and clear intentions. Your vision and your how you saw yourself basically was is starting to clear up. It might have not it might not have been as clear since you were healing and grieving, and that's okay. You took the time, you healed. And then you came into your own, into your own scorpionic energy. And from that energy, from that watery space, you are setting intentions that the universe is hearing. My dear Scorpio, you are so close to something beautiful, magical, the star card. This is literally the card of wish fulfillment. And that is why I'm saying you need to stay in this energy of King of Swords because whatever it is that you're doing, whatever connection or manifesting or meditating or whatever mantras or whatever talks you're listening to, maybe you've just changed your thought patterns, but there's some energy that you are very clear about, whether it's I'll never go back to that madness or I'll never ever allow myself to feel that pain again or I'm, I'm a boss and I know it. Whatever it is that you are feeling, you are feeling it from your core, from your soul and the universe. The universe resonates with stuff like that, you know. It's picking up on your signal and it is ready to deliver to you. I don't think that you're actually seeing this manifestation. I feel like you're feeling this manifestation. You can feel all of the energy around you, like a little bit of a sparkle and, you know, like you're feeling a little bit happier. Maybe you're finding money in random places, but like little bits of money here and there. Maybe random strangers are smiling at you, but you can tell that you're in a little bit of a glow up, but it hasn't manifested fully as maybe a new relationship or that perfect dream job. It's just manifesting currently internally. And let it stay there because in that internal space that you are in is how you're manifesting this Ace of Wands. 
Ace of Wands with the Star card, guys, together. This is something coming to you that is divine, that is meant for you, that you've wished for, that you've wanted. It's an alignment. It's a soul alignment. I am so happy for you because, I mean, let's be real. We started this reading a little wonky with the heartbreak and thinking something was meant for you just to find out that no it's toxic it's not meant for you just to think oh my word what the hell universe just to find out that that was actually the universe having your back and now it's about to bless you because you listened and you did the work wow scorpio so i'm not sure if this means that somebody special is coming towards you because the ace of wands in a love reading my god look at this can can i be any clearer <laughs> it's very phallic it's very symbolic of something so if this is a love reading you're about to attract something attract something very passionate very romantic i might say but very passionate and full of love making and someone that you're highly highly attracted to but because it's so divine it's going to be more than just someone who's hot that you get to lay next to this is someone who's hot that you get to lay next to and talk for hours to you know that kind of relationship where you're like holy crap how did i manifest this human being you manifested them because you're in your king of swords if it's a um, if it's not romantic how i read the ace of wands wands are stability material and things that are grounded here on earth so if this is a career reading, you are manifesting a new opportunity that is divinely guided to you. Um, I'm not sure if this is something you're starting on your own, possibly maybe a business that you're, you're starting up again or you're starting from scratch or you're just getting a new opportunity. But something magical is coming towards you and you've worked very hard and you deserve it. All right, Scorpio. So your base and grounding cards, um, I like to usually pull one card, that's how I do my um, general readings, but the storm field decided to pop out, so I took it anyway, okay? And I think it makes complete sense. I mean, look at these two cards and where I've put them. Storm field is where you are coming from, that energy that you are walking away from, and you are walking straight towards your intentions, your wishes. I don't even think I need to read from this. It couldn't be any clearer, guys. But I'm going to read, okay? Um, it's number nine in the Enchanted Map deck by Doreen Virtue. Okay, so this is Stormfields, which I'm associating with the energies that you are coming from. The energies that you are leaving behind, those toxic energies. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that you've left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent up energy needs release, just as a storm in nature must break. For these events, wow, this is so crazy. For these events occur when the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seas to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that whenever it is being stirred, what, whatever, sorry, just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another, this is so crazy, will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up. I'm sorry I kept muttering in between that. That I Remember how I said I only pull out one card and Mr. Stormfields decided, no, you are going to read this message for Scorpio. This is the universe confirming this is why I took this energy out of your life. This is why the tower happened. Because this person, this situation, this job was not for you. 
whoa crazy and like i said i think into it like externally maybe yes you were heartbroken and maybe a little panicked where am i gonna get my next paycheck from why did he leave me why did he dump me why does she why did she cheat you know only you know your story but even in that disillusion and sadness and confusion there was something inside of you where i feel like you knew that the universe was going to put you where you needed to be and that is why your intentions were so strong and that is why they're manifesting as the star and the ace of wands let's read the intention card number 22 intention your objectives will be fulfilled at this time inspired intentions are like magic arrows shot into the sky the universe is bringing you a gift oh, are you kidding me what did i just say something that the universe is bringing oh, i know like i'm a tarot reader and I, i'm supposed to be like expecting these things but sometimes when these cards and these messages tie up like this i'm just like whoa whoa okay let's carry that on um whoa okay <laughs> Whew, I'm going to start that sentence again. The universe is bringing you a gift, showing, showing you that you're hitting your mark. Recognize that you're not the one who has to do all the work. However, others help you to co-create your reality. You connect to the power of your intention, send it out into the field of dreams, then allow for synchronicity to work its magic. Perhaps the good intentions of others will inspire you to send out beautiful ones for yourself. Own the life you want to live and lead. Deliberately and clearly detach from your intentions. I mean, do I need to say anything else? <laughs> do I need to say anything else? I don't even feel like I should clarify further because usually i clarify with the light seers tarot deck um how long is this reading been going oh 22 22 you know what i'm gonna leave it at 22 22 with the 22 intention card wow synchronicities and beautiful things are happening for my lovely scorpio did i mention that i'm a scorpio moon and I know exactly what we're talking about here when it comes to this. I know exactly what we're talking about when it comes to this. And I cannot wait for this and this. So Scorpio, love and light. I really hope that this is your story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a little comment. If you would like to go deeper with an in-depth reading, a little bit more personal and designed more personal to you and your specific energies instead of just Scorpio's energies leave me a comment in the dms and we shall do that reading on zoom when you are ready if not follow me on instagram all of that cool stuff till the next time Scorpio what an awesome reading thank you for joining me all the way till the end love and light friends